Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some emulation on this pre-bell HP gaming PC that I recently picked up on eBay. Now I was actually able to score this for $457 and it's definitely the best deal that I've found on a gaming PC in 2021. Be it a build your own or a pre-built given the prices of GPUs right now. And in my opinion, this is totally worth it. If you're interested in checking out some PC gaming performance on this machine, I will leave a link to the first video I created on this. And it has sold out and come back in stock several times, so your best bet in getting something like this is just keep your eye on the website. But like I mentioned, it's totally worth it for PC gaming and even emulation as we're going to see in this video. Now before we jump right into it, I just want to give you a quick rundown on the specs and everything you're going to be seeing running in this video is the stock configuration. There's no overclock on the GPU and I haven't added any extra RAM. So for the CPU, we have the Ryzen 5 3500, 6 cores, 6 threads, base clock of 3.7 GHz with a boost up to 4.2. 8 GB of DDR4 running at 2666, and there is an extra DIMM in here, so you can just throw another 8 GB stick in here, bringing it up to 16. You can do it really easily. And I think the best part about this pre-built is the included GPU, because if you've taken a look at GPU prices recently, they've skyrocketed, but they've included a GTX 1650 Super in this unit. And performance with 1080p PC gaming and even 4K emulation is absolutely amazing with this thing. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to be testing out some PSP, PS2, PS3, we'll do some Xbox, Xbox 360, we'll go with Wii, Wii U, and even some Switch emulation. But first up, we have PSP. This is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition using the DirectX 11 backend with PPSSPP and I was able to upscale this to 10x. So if you want to do PSP on this unit, it's going to handle everything as long as it's compatible with the emulator. Even Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. So let's go ahead and take it up a notch. Next up, we have GameCube using the Dolphin emulator. Vulcan back in, upscale to 4K. It handles this with GameCube and Wii at 4K without a hitch. And going into this, I figured it would with that GTX 1650 Super and that 6-core, 4 gigahertz CPU. And as you can see, while running the Dolphin emulator here, be it with uh, GameCube or Wii, we've got that CPU at 50%, so we're using three cores, and it's clocked out at 4.1 gigahertz. Swapping over to Wii using the same Dolphin emulator at 4K with the Vulcan back end, performance is just as good at 4K. Moving over to PS2 using PC SX2, I'm using the DirectX 11 back end. I have the slider set to balanced, but I was able to run these games at full speed with an upscaled resolution of 4K with PC SX2. It's working great here. I was actually really surprised that we were able to go up to 4K even with the harder to run games, but this little machine is trucking right through it. I got one more PS2 game to show off and then we'll move over to something else. When it comes to original Xbox emulation, it's still a bit early, but CXBX Reloaded does work really well with NVIDIA GPUs and a decently powered CPU. And right now, as it goes with the latest version of CXBX Reloaded, I was actually having issues with the other games I wanted to test. This was really the only one that I could get up and running. Everything else was just crashing on me. But I was able to get Dead or Alive 3 up and running here, and I'm at 2x the native resolution of the original Xbox. It's playing great here, as you can see, we're at 60 FPS. I really do believe I could have upscaled a little more, but like I mentioned, I was having issues with the emulator, and I really didn't want to shut it down and go back and it not work for me anymore. But overall, performance is great with DOA 3. Moving up to PS3 using RPCS3 with the Vulcan back in, and I'm upscaled to 1080p from the settings. I usually set this at around 720p with lower end machines, but this will do 1080p with PS3 quite well. I also tested Tekken 6 and Skate 3, and if you've ever tried Skate 3 on a lower end machine, you know it doesn't perform well, but uh, with this machine it does run it at 60. I'll let these other two games play out, and then we'll move on to another emulator. Yeah. You win. Round two. 
So going into this, I did expect this to perform really well with emulation, but I didn't expect to be able to run Switch and PS3 like we did. It runs it absolutely amazingly, and PS3 was able to upscale to 1080p, and with some games I could probably go even higher. I mean, Dolphin Emulator 4K works great on lower end machines, so I knew that wasn't going to be an issue with this. And if you want to do anything lower end, like Dreamcast, as you can see, we're running here at 3800 by 2888 This is as high as we can go with Read Dream. It's going to handle it just fine. You want to do N64 at 1080p, maybe even higher, it's totally possible on a machine like this. You can upscale Sega Saturn using Yobase and Shiro, or if you just want to stick with the Beetle Core to get accuracy out of it, it'll run any Saturn game as long as it's compatible with said emulator. So in the end, this is an awesome emulation machine, and not to mention, we got some really good PC gaming performance out of this machine. If you're interested in checking that video out, I will leave a link for that in the description. Just keep your eye out. I mean, these do go on sale. I'll leave a couple links down below to where I got this one. You can get it from eBay or their official website. Like I mentioned, they sold out when I initially did my video, but they came back in stock two times since then, so you never know. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on this machine, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.